Hello guys, and what is up? Welcome back to another episode of Main Assembly. My name is Sam11, and today on Basic Mechanisms, we'll be looking at how to balance. To be specific, bikes. See this little dirt bike in the background here? This guy is what we're going to be balancing. And hopefully we can get it to a point where we can actually ride it and turn without flipping over. So, let's get started. Bikes. They're not all too common on the Steam Workshop, and you don't really see too many, probably for this reason. Stability. In this game, bikes don't quite behave the way you would think they do in the real world, where if you turn and they kind of lean in, and everything sort of balances out really nicely. In this game, well, if you try to turn, um, yeah, if you kind of flop around and you wipe out. So, what we're going to do today is try to figure out if we can stabilize a bike. After quite a lot of experimentation, tuning, and testing, here's what I found. In order to construct and program this system, it's really simple. So all you need to do is just create two little extrusions at similar angles to this. So you have them kind of branch out like little wings, almost. And then on the body, just above that, you're going to have these at a slight downward angle. And you're going to make this distance just long enough so it touches right where the ground would be. You basically want that arrow to stretch as far as that will hit the ground to ensure that you get good stability. Because if this arrow is too short, you're going to roll too much, and if this arrow is too long, then you might actually end up floating. And same thing for these bottom ones, except that doesn't exactly really apply, so it's not the same thing, but whatever. So I have these set at the stock 50, which should be enough propulsion for what we need, which is to prevent rolling over. So that's all the hardware, so let's check out the program. On the programming side of things, here we have a split block. What this does is it basically activates the hover pads on the bottom depending on which way you want to turn. So whether the signal, which has a value of 1 on both of these, comes out the top or bottom depends on which one is pressed and therefore if the number is negative or positive. So for example if we have a negative one it'll come in here, it'll be made positive, it'll come out the bottom and then it'll go to this subtraction block. Actually, you know what, let me move that out of the way so we can see better. So it'll come out of this subtraction block and then it'll go one minus 0.5, and what is that? 0.5. So this hover pad is going to propel us, you could say, at about half power, which is just enough to counteract the rotational force when we're turning. And the same thing with this one. We also subtract 0.5. In case you didn't get that, subtract the number in the constant block from 1, and that gives you your propulsion power. There are a few actual benefits to this stability system, too. Um, you can kind of do some really weird tricks and sorts with this. <laughs> Kind of works, not all the time, but I mean, you know what? Uh, see, I think I'll have to up the torque on the rear wheels, and if I want to really do tricks. There we go. I'm using dual motors on this thing, too. They're not both attached, but whatever. Come on. Dang. And another benefit to this system is that you can actually start from a dead stop, like that. Sort of. It can be a little tricky because you might lose control a little bit. But once you get it under control, I think you're fine. Oh. I would think that on a bigger bike, this would also be a little more effective because you wouldn't have so much rocking around motion because the whole bike is bigger. So it'd be a lot more mass to push around, which would be in turn a lot harder. So this system would probably be better for bigger bikes, but for this small one, it works really well. So guys, if you want to see more content like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you have any ideas for what I could do for later episodes, also leave those down in the comments. And while you're at it, give this video a like. And until next time, see ya!